guys happy Wednesday so I apologize there's no video up yesterday my husband was resting on the sofa yesterday morning because he had that bad toothache and he had to go into the dentist at 9 and he ended up having a root canal he's doing much better he's back at work today uh, so I couldn't talk in the morning because I didn't want to wake him up and then I had errands to run at lunchtime it was it was just a busy day um, but I do want to I do want to have a chat about yesterday. Let's have a little confession time. You guys are you guys know that my channel is about staying accountable for myself and also being motivating to you and also to let you guys know that we are humans, we are real and things happen and things happened yesterday and I just want to let you know you're not alone and um really well let's first talk about what happened. So in the morning, I fasted, fasting again today, um, having my iced coffee, nothing in it. I, my fast, I could have broken at um, 10.30 yesterday morning. I did break it a little bit early and I think this is what probably catapulted it. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not really find, trying to find an excuse because again, there's no reason to have excuses about it. It's really just about again just about being um, honest about the things. I was doing some interview testing yesterday and the table that we do the testing at is right next to my desk and my stomach was legit, legit growling so hard. I was so embarrassed and so it, it was about 10 o'clock, about 9 45, 10 o'clock and when it started happening it was about 9 45. So at about 10 o'clock once one person got done and then I was getting ready to get set up for the next person I was like I need to eat something. This is absolutely embarrassing. I know they can hear it <laughs> and you know it was so I mean I well, like I said, it was growling, so I figured I was hungry. So I went ahead and just broke my fast early. And I thought, well, it'd be easier if I just start with my snacks versus my lunch. So I had, um, I think the first thing I had was my Kiss My Keto bar. So I had that. And then I just kept going, and I had my Borklander sausage. And then I had my two Baby Bell cheeses that I brought. So that was all I brought. Well, th by this point, you know, it's almost lunchtime. So I ate my lunch. And then when I went to lunch, I had to go to the store to pick up a couple things. While I was there, the snack attack monster just continued and I had some roast, some of those salt and vinegar um, almonds. And then I also had a two good yogurt with some peanut butter and some high key granola. And then when I got home, I had an enlightened um, marshmallow peanut butter bar. Needless to say, I did not eat dinner last night because my stomach was hurting. By that point, it was cramping and I just was feeling overall terrible. And I'm sure it was because I had no food of substance at, at all besides my lunch, which I had my pigs in a blanket with the coleslaw. Um, I just felt terrible. So today will probably be very hard to keep my fast because I had that ice cream bar like at 6, 6.30. So really, I can't even break my fast again until like 10.30. So we'll see, but I don't know if it was me breaking my fast early that kind of catapulted all that, or like I said, I don't really need to find an excuse. It just happens. Snack attacks happen and they're real. And again, like I said, we're real people and things just happen. So I just want to let you guys know, like I said, this is like my, my confessional. This is what happened yesterday. We all are there. We, it all happens to all of us. We don't need to feel bad about it. We just need to move on, which I'm doing. It was all keto stuff. I was still within my macros, but it was not filling food that kept me satisfied. I mean, I know I'm, and I was feeling sick. So obviously it was things that all that stuff just combined was just making me feel ill. So today is going to be a much better day. I'm going to fill my day with nutritious filling foods. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lunch together. I'll show you that. I'm having um, leftovers kind of turn into a salad. And then um, I'll show you the snacks I am going to bring because I feel like I need to bring something um, or else, you know, it might, this may happen again. <laughs> so anyway, so let me get all that stuff together and I will show it all to you. Okay, let's talk drinks before we get to the food. My iced coffee is the blueberry plus a shot of Nespresso. So there, nothing else in there. I'm gonna be bringing some of this tea with me to work. This stuff is so good, the sweet honeydew. OMG, you guys. 
And then I picked up some of the Black Cherry Zip Fizz on Amazon. And what was super nice was there's an extra sample in there of the grapefruit, which is funny because I was going in between the grapefruit and the Black Cherry, didn't know which one I wanted to go for. So now I can try the grapefruit and know whether or not it is worth buying it. So I'll let you guys know about the Black Cherry. And I just have water in here. So there's the drinks and the lunch. So I had fajitas the other night, so I'm just gonna have leftovers and make it into a salad. In here I have some of the Daisy Sour Cream. So this is steak and chicken fajitas. And in here I just have a bed of spring mix with some Monterey Jack cheese. And then I will have this avocado. So this is a super small avocado. I will probably eat the whole thing. I really need some healthy fats after yesterday's, you know, mess. Snacks though, I am bringing, these are some of those marinated mozzarella balls I found at Grocery Outlet. These are amazing, so good. And then I have some pickle spears and then I have my German pork sausage I also found at Grocery Outlet. So we're gonna make today a good day. I have all the good stuff here. I'm gonna try to keep, you know, keep things going. Um, the tonight for dinner i'm just gonna have leftovers i'm making pork chops for the family but i have some broccoli cheese soup in there to eat up i have more of this fajita stuff i have what else do i have in there i think that's all i have for leftovers i really want the broccoli cheddar soup though that was so good so i think i'm gonna have that for dinner tonight and then tomorrow i will maybe eat the pork chops i don't know um, but sometimes I just like to mix it up. I like to have a meal plan of things just to kind of give me ideas of things to buy, but then I always end up going off of it. I just never stick to it, but oh well. You know, that's what we have a freezer for to throw the meat in, but like I said, I'm still gonna make the pork chops, so there'll be plenty of leftover tomorrow, or I might just make breakfast for dinner tomorrow because I've been kind of missing breakfast foods lately. I'm gonna pack all this up and head out to work.